so what I'm talking about here is the gimbal cover, which you're all familiar with, the nice clear one you get. The question I had was essentially it comes with this really nice cover on it. You've, underneath you've got this clear cover that you can actually film through. But a lot of people have said that, hey, look, you flow with this, then it's going to interrupt the airflow. Now what I mean by airflow is we, if we take the gimbal cover off, see through here there's this great big grill which the air flows through over the computer system inside which helps uh, dissipate some heat through the heat sink here and then anything else flows out the back here. So yeah, so essentially they're saying if you cover this area here up you're not, you, your Mavic's not going to keep cool and you're going to have some issues. So I guess that could be true, but you know, we really need to be able to test that. And if you've got the guys testing one or two spots along here, then that isn't really going to tell you much because the heat sink may heat up differently depending on what's under it. There might be a processor under there, there might be nothing really under here that generates much heat, there might be something else back here that generates a lot of heat. So you can't really test one little point, you have to have a look at the overall heat distribution of the unit. If we're going to run the test here to see where the heat's coming through, the way I did it was I thought I'd run it for 10 minutes. The Mavic itself would be mounted in a static state, fan in front of it to simulate some heat actually passing through as though it was flying, and again with, with it being mounted the fan and the airflow through it would be consistent throughout the test. Each time afterwards the Mavic was cooled back down to room temperature which was about 16 degrees. We have a look at the front with no cover and the front with cover shots down the bottom middle there we'll notice that the one on the right the one on the left they seem to have quite a range in colors there the one on the right has the gimbal cover on of course and what the FLIR camera sees is the temperature of only the plastic of cover it cannot see through the plastic and measure the temperature of the gimbal that's why on the left we have a different range of colors and we can actually see a bit more clarity around the components and temperature of the gimbal cover top right we have the bottom width and without cover and you'll notice the width cover shows the same behavior where the actual gimbal area itself shows as black that's because what we are seeing there is the temperature of the gimbal cover and we can't measure or see the temperature of the gimbal itself underneath. did notice that we could actually see heat blooming up on where the arms joined on to the actual Mavic itself you could see the heat blooms of where the high current was being delivered from the main body along the arms of the Mavic to the actual motors. Now these heated up a noticeable amount during the operation. What we did notice as the Mavic was running you could even see the path in which those cables ran inside the arms out to the motors as you can see at the bottom right here. It started out pretty cool and by the end of the test you could see that it had heated up a reasonable amount.
here's a quick summary of the temperatures, all in degrees centigrade, that clearly show there's really not much difference between the covered and non-covered. You can pause this and have a look through for more detail if you need to. Right, now there's two areas on here that I really want to take a look at that have shown up quite noticeably. If we zoom in, basically around the middle and the front of the Mavic. And if we tear away and actually have a look inside here, what we can see is the two areas showing up on the heat bloom is the forward avoidance system and not very surprisingly is the battery connector which is obviously having to generate quite a bit of heat through the current that's been drawn from the battery compartment itself. We zoom back out again, you can see those heat blooms quite clearly and if we put them back Yep, you can see those components relate directly to those items. Right, let's look at the underside now, and more particular, the heat sink. Notice these areas here where we've got some blooms of additional heat, which seems a bit odd considering the heat sink seems continuous, but it suggests that something underneath the heat sink is producing heat through here. So if we have a look under, the actual heat sink itself, you'll notice that these areas have these little blue blobs, but that'll be the heat sink conductor paste, which is actually taking away heat from the components underneath and transferring it through to the heat sink. So if we have a look at the heat sink again, you'll see that these areas where the paste is applied relates directly to where the heat is appearing on the heat sink. So obviously this paste is actually working quite well. So the interesting point with this cover is that even though they kind of say that it's you shouldn't fly with it because it's going to get hot and you're going to cut the airflow off. If you take a close look at this, let's see if I can get in there nice, nice and close. You'll notice that this actually has a slit cut in the side. So it's not going to be 100% sealed, not that it has a gasket around the outside to seal it either, but it has a very nice slit cut in the side. So it's, it's going to have airflow through there, not as much, but it's, it's not completely sealed up and it's got a nice slit in there so that you can actually get some airflow still. So when you're flying with that on, you're not talking about a sealed unit, can actually get the airflow through through here. So it shouldn't really have much of a problem. Right, so what are our findings from this? The heat sink heats up differently across its surface due to components within the airframe heating up at different rates. Other surfaces across the Mavic only differ in minor amounts. No great hotspots occur elsewhere apart from the heat sink and motors. The supply gimbal cover allows airflow and it is not an airtight unit especially with the slit cut into it. The overall variation in heat difference between flying with or without the gimbal appear to be minor, really only affecting your filming in the end. If you're designing or mounting extra devices for a Mavic, you should avoid covering the hotspots highlighted in this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.